Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of a Mighty App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a voice assistant also known as Artificial Intelligence or AI using a Mighty App Inventor. So for this, we are going to use text-to-speech and speech recognizer. So let me show you how this works. First, you need to enter your name here. Now click on save. Hello Krishna, how can I help you today? You can see that it says hello to me and it says how can the AI help me. Now I can ask any question. I'm going to ask how are you to the robot. How are you? I am fine. Hope you are too. You can see that it replies back to me. And if I ask any question which the robot doesn't know or the AI doesn't know, then it will search it in Google. Let me show you an example. What is the largest planet in the solar system? Now you can see that it went to Google and you can also see that the answer is visible. So if it doesn't know to answer any question, then it will search it in Google and show it to us. Now if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. So first we are going to put a title here. So let's bring in a label and let's change the text to be whatever you want. So you can put the name of your voice assistant. I'm just going to put voice assistant. Next, let's make the font to be bold and we are going to increase the font size to be 30. And we are going to bring this to be at the middle of screen 1. So click on screen 1 and here you need to change align horizontal to be center. Now you can see that it came to the middle of the screen. Let's go to layout and from here we are going to bring in horizontal arrangement. And inside this horizontal arrangement, we are going to put a text box and then a button. So in this text box, they will type in their name. So let's change the hint to be your name. So as I already told you in the demo, they will type the name and then they will click on save button. So let's change the text to be save. And now we are going to make the font to be bold. And then let's go to horizontal arrangement and you need to put align horizontal and align vertical. Both should be center. Now you can see that it is properly aligned. Next, let's go to layout. And from here, we are going to bring in vertical arrangement. We are going to put the height and width to be fill parent. Now you can see that it occupies the whole screen. Next, we are going to change align horizontal and align vertical to be center. Both needs to be center. Let's go to user interface. And from here, we are going to bring in an image. So here you can put the logo of your voice assistant or any image you want. You can put an image of a robot or anything you want. So here you can see I have uploaded an image to the media. So this is the image. So you can download this image. I have given the link in the description below. So select image one and you need to put the picture to be the AI robot.png, which is the image which I have uploaded. Now you can see that it is too big. So let's adjust the height and width. So the height needs to be 30% and then the width needs to be 35%. Now you can see that it is at the perfect size. So next we are going to bring in a label. So in this label we are going to show whatever the voice assistant is speaking. So if the voice assistant tells hello then it will be visible in this label too. So let's increase the font size to be 16 and we are going to put the font to be bold. Now you can see that the font is bold. Let's erase all the text from this label. Next we are going to bring in a button and in this let's put it outside this vertical arrangement and in this button it, this is the speak button so when they when the user clicks on this button then they can talk to the voice assistant which means the speech recognition will be enabled so instead of putting text like speak i'm going to upload an image so let's erase all the text and let's go to image so i have already uploaded the mic icon.png i have given the link for this in the description below click on ok now you can see that this button is too big so let's adjust the height and width so the height needs to be 10 percent and let's put the width to be 18 percent now you can see that the size is perfect now you can see that it also looks a little bit 
bulged but if we test it in the mobile it looks fine next we need text to speech because this voice assistant will speak to us that's why we are going to use text to speech so let's go to media and from here we are going to bring in text to speech component next we also need speech recognizer because so that's why it's because when we when we speak to the voice assistant this voice assistant needs to get the text which the user speaks so that's why we need to bring speech recognizer now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create two variables so the first one is going to be name and let's set this to be a name empty string let's duplicate this and then the second variable needs to be message so in this name variable we we are going to store the name whatever they are typed in this text box which is text box 1 and then in this variable the message variable we are going to store whatever the, the voice assistant needs to speak so when next when they click on this save button it needs to save the name and it will speak it out so it will say hello and it will tell the name so for that we are going to use this let's bring in this when button 1 dot click so when this button is clicked the save button we are going to save it in this variable the name variable so set global name to let's go to text box 1 and here we are going to bring in this block text box 1 dot text so that whatever they type in text box 1 will be saved in this variable and then after we save it we we need to create a message so let's bring in this variable set global message to and now we we need to use the join block because we are going to add many commands so let's bring in this block and here you need to type hello and then let's give it a space next it will say hello and then it will get the name of the user and then let's click on this settings and here we are going to bring in another string let's duplicate this and here we are going to put how can i help you so make sure you put a space at the beginning now when we use the join block it will say like it will say hello and then it will say the name of the user so for example if it is krishna then it will say hello krishna and it will say how can i help you so now you can see that we have created the message next the voice assistant needs to speak out a message so we are going to use text to speech for that So first we are going to create a procedure with, because we are going to use this many times. So here let's put the name of this procedure to be speak message. Now you can see that the procedure is created. Inside this procedure we are going to bring in the text to speech block. So let's go here and from here we are going to bring in this call text to speech 1.speak message. And then the message is going to be whatever is stored in this variable. which is the global message variable and then it will not only speak but it will also show it in a label so here you can see it needs to show it in label 2 so let's go to the blocks and here we are going to bring in let's go to label 2 and we are going to bring in this block set label 2 dot text to again we are going to get the global message and we will show it in label 2 Now after you create this procedure we need to call it whenever the voice assistant needs to speak. So it needs to speak when button 1 is clicked. So let's go to the procedures and from here we are going to bring in this block call speak message so that it speaks the message using text to speech and it will also show it in label 2. Next what we are going to do is when this button is clicked. So this is button 2. when the mic button is clicked we need to enable the speech recognition so let's go to when button 2 dot click and here we are going to bring in this block called speech recognizer dot get text so that it will get the text from the user whatever they they are speaking next what we are going to do is after the speech recognizer gets the text we need to we are going to use here if conditions so let's bring in this block and we need to bring in the equal to operator so first we are going to put a question here so if the result means whatever the user speaks is equal to how are you so let me type how are you here make sure you type it in small letters so if the result which means if if the user asks how are you to the voice assistant it needs to reply back so to reply it back we are going to use this procedure but first we need to set the message So let's go to variables 
and here we are going to bring in the set block and here we are going to set the global message to the message is going to be I am fine hope you are too so let me type it here now you can see that whenever we ask how are you it will say I am I am fine and then hope you are too after that we we will first set this variable and then we need to call this procedure so that it speaks back so let's go to procedures and from here we are going to bring in call speak message so that it will speak the message to us next if you need to add another question go here and here we are going to bring in else if so else if means so here we are going to duplicate this and here if the result is equal to let's say who is your creator then here we are going to again do the same thing let's duplicate this and here I'm going to put the name of the creator so you can put your name here and then we are going to call this procedure now the now you will have a doubt that so they can also they can also ask like who created you so both of these are same it should tell the same answer so that's why we are going to use the or block so let's go to logic and here we are going to bring in this or and inside this we are going to put this let's duplicate this block and let's we are going to change this to be who created you now let me tell you how this logic works so if the user asks who is your creator or if the user is asking who created you it will tell the same answer which is Krishna Raghavendran is my creator so what you can do is you can add many questions using the else if and you can add many questions and then the robot will know all the questions and whenever the user asks this it will answer properly so you can make this voice assistant more intelligent by adding questions next what we are going to do is whenever this voice assistant doesn't know the answer for a question then it needs to search it in google so for that we need web viewer so let's go to user interface and from here let's bring in web viewer so we are going to put it here and then what we are going to do is we are going to make this invisible because only this part should be visible so now let's go to the block section and here we are going to bring in else block so else means if so here you will put all of your questions and if it is something else which the user is asking which the robot doesn't know it needs to search it in Google so for that we are going to bring in the web viewer block so here we are going to bring in this block go to URL and then here the let me tell you the URL so for this we need to join and then in this join block let's bring in a string and in this string let's we are going to put this URL HTTPS google.com search question mark q equal to so i'm going to give this url in the description below so that you can copy and paste it and then here we are going to put whatever the user is asking so we are going to get the result and then it will show it in web viewer but you can see that we have made the web viewer to be invisible so whenever here we are going to make it visible again so let's go to web viewer and here we are going to bring in this block set web viewer one dot visible to and here let me put true so let's go to logic and let's bring in this block true so here you can see the voice assistant I'm going to type my name here and now let me click on save hello Krishna how can I help you you can see that it says hello and then it will say my name and it says how can I help you now I'm going to ask few questions to this voice assistant how are you I am fine hope you are too you can see that it is replying back to me. Now let me ask who is your creator? Who is your creator? Krishna Rahavendran is my creator. Now I'm going to ask this same question in another way. Who created you? Krishna Rahavendran is my creator. You can see that it tells the same answer. Now I'm going to ask a question which this voice assistant doesn't know and let's see if it is going to search it on Google. What is the largest planet in the solar system? Now you can see that it searches on Google and you can see that it shows Jupiter. So if you ask any question which this voice assistant doesn't know, it will search it in Google and show the answer. There are many other features which you can add to the AI robot. So watch all of these tutorials 
so that you can add these features.